Yes, sir. Oh, no. Nice, sir. <laughs> How, are you? How are you? How are you? Nice to see you again, sir. Nice to see you. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. How are you, sir? Good. 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 The original White Shark, our special guest of honor, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of our dear state. Distinguished senators that are here, the Speaker, River State House of Assembly, the Secretary to the State Government, members of the State Executive Council, other members of the House of Assembly that are here, members of the National Assembly that are here, our royal fathers, more especially our host, the Amayab of Abonima, and other highly revered majesties and highnesses that are here with us. State elders, Dr. Samson Jaja, Chief David Brace, and a good number of you that are here. Let me also recognize specially the very large entourage that came with our special guest of honor. For want of time, I wouldn't want to start mentioning names. You've already spent more than two hours here. I would like to not lean on the protocol, but I've already observed all the protocols. <laughs> Let me specially recognize the Vice Chairman of our Territory.
have shown capacity this afternoon in the face of fear that is running in the stomach of a lot of people. I want to thank you for having the boldness to stand with us. Let me especially also recognize my primary constituency because they're always here with us. The permanent secretaries, head of parastatals and other agencies that are here. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I feel very happy that I am performing this very, very special function in the heart of the Calabari Kingdom. I know what it really means to me as a person. And if you understand the politics of our dear state, you will understand that standing here today is a statement to the people of Calabar that we are with you, we will support you, we will improve the state of the three local government areas in this Calabar. I did mention to you that while we continue with our anniversary, this anniversary is not a year anniversary, it's a four month anniversary. If you understand when we were liberated, you understand why I said it's a four month anniversary. I mentioned that I'll be going with a white paper. The essence of this paper is to give you accurate records. Although the permanent secretary did mention a few things, and I know that when we leave here, some agents will want to say one thing or the other. So I came prepared. <laughs> Let me also say it here. Maybe Julius Baja been a with presentation before my table or on my table as I'm talking to you today there is a request for variation for the cost of the project because as at the time this project was awarded and while the project was ongoing I was serious asking friends but I told them not to worry that they should go ahead and complete this project that we will sort them out and they accepted. For the record, this project was awarded on the 18th of February by the immediate past administration and in the month of March, the first payment for the project was done. And the next one was in April, and the third one was in May. The total value of this project is 21.2 billion. And out of that, 6 billion was what the previous administration committed. And when we came on board, we said, go ahead, that we are not cutting it short because we know that the project is for the benefit of our people. I can boldly say that the balance of 15.2 have been paid completely. <laughs> so for those of you that are, that are mathematicians, and even those of you who understand very elementary statistics, will understand that of this 
job was done by this administration. Therefore, we can boldly say that this project was delivered by this administration. <laughs> but it's not even an issue. It's not an issue. But the reason why we have to go this this, uh, 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 when I say this line is just to explain to our people so that you understand where we were and exactly where we are now. Originally, our mantra was supposed to be consolidation and continuity. And if that is our mantra, Success of our administration should not be ascribed to anybody, but to the success of the administration, to the success of governance, knowing fully well that one will serve out his tenure, another will continue, and government is a continuous process. But what we are faced with, we have no other option but to explain so that we understand what we are doing. For those people who said we've not been doing anything, to know that we've been doing a lot silently, not with noise or media exaggeration. Let me assure our people, as I've said before, this government is a government that is focused. This government is a government that wants the forgotten people to feel the impact of governance. This government is a government that wants to give opportunity to everyone. You don't need to be close to me. You don't need to come. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want you to come close to me. That's the truth, because I, I see that psycho fancy. What we need to do, we will do for our people. So let me thank the four local government area who cooperated to make this project a success. The MOWA, local government, the Asanetoro, the Degema, and the Akokotoro. And let me also thank the traditional leadership of the Calabari Kingdom. Please, just be peaceful. Everything that we desire by the special grace of God will definitely come our way. I'm happy that you did mention about the trans -Calabari. We're not going back on that. Let me say it here. And uh, and uh, but people, the original arrangement, if the road was supposed to go in to Tombia directly, would take us from Obakere, and if we have to go through Obakere, it's going to be a very high maritime line. There's no way we can afford that. That is why we are taking it through the other route, the route of uh, Ruben Lumene. But the road will get to your place within my administration lifespan. So I want, to, I want you to relax. Don't bother. We make promises and we'll keep up to that promises. You're paying your tax, your taxpayer money will be used judiciously for you. Let me also say that I haven't heard what the Majesty said. I will ask, um, oh, let me say, I'm directing the Permanent Secretary immediately commence the ending this route from Tema Junction. To our body man.
and the first part of it for we will sit we will take that of the focal and the bridge i'm aware of the bridge so don't worry we will touch all those areas so say here that whatever we are pronounced in this arena we will execute them to the glory of God. I want to thank every one of you for your support. Thanking you specially for your support during the time of the election, before, during, and the one are getting and the support is what is shocking the whole world. We don't have any assembly. We don't have any argument, chairman, as they said. But we have the people. And the people is the most important thing. I assure the people that we will not disappoint them. We will live as a government that has not. That is purposeful for the people. Let me every one of you for your support assure you that we will not let you down we will not bring any form of disgrace but i'm not asking you to be violent no need for it the most important thing is our course we will follow it lawfully to the end lawfully to the end and by the special grace of god we are on top of the situation. Let me also ask, it's a special request. You must support Mr. President. We have a problem in the River Rhine areas, more especially in this axis of the state. It is the issue of bunkering. It's the issue of vandalization of our, nat of our natural resources. It's the state world. It is what we benefit from. It is what gives us the enablement to embark on all these projects. So if we are part of those people that are sabotaging, it is not good for us. When you watch most of the reports on the activity of the Navy, of the Navy, you will see that greater parts of these bunkery activities are done by us, more especially this area. I want to appeal to you. There are other justified and clean means of livelihood. We must not subject ourselves to economic sabotage. Please, I'm appealing to you. It is better we desist from it. I'm going to constitute a very, very uh, high delegation that will visit this area and talk to the leadership, the chiefs, and the community health so that we can improve on our present state. When we have more resources from this area, it brings more resources to the state. It brings more resources to the country. Mr. President, President can do more projects, and Sim can also do more projects. After all, you want me to do more projects, isn't it? Yes. So support me in this fight to end bunkering and oil line vandalization. Let me, on this note, thank everyone and specially invite our special guest of honor to come talk to us. He understands our problem because he's one of us. He will come talk to you in the language that you understand and commission this project to the glory of God. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, I hear you. Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Your Excellency, the amiable and hardworking and focused Governor of River State. Your Excellency, the hardworking and supportive Deputy Governor. The Right Honorable Mr. Speaker seated there. Let me recognize the members of the State House who are here. I recognize my dear colleagues, friends, my brothers and sisters from the National Assembly. I saw a number of them here seated by the governor, and I thank you for that. Your royal majesties and highnesses, in no particular order. And I recognize all the leaders and fathers and elders of this great state. I thank you all. I've seen a number of you. And that is quite heartwarming. I want to thank members, recognize members of my delegation. I know over 150 to 200 by essence are here. Thank you. Territorial Leader Elder Feynman Wilson, formerly of the Old River State House of Assembly, and uh, the Honorable Dr. Susu, OON, and all of you, Ambassador Norman, Wokoma the Sixth, who came with me from Abuja, and all of you who are from Bayelsa, I greet you all. Thank you. I would like to most importantly greet you, the wonderful people of River State, wonderful people of Calabari Kingdom. Hi, so. 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 Thank you. You will hear more from us, not now. But I've not finished thanking you. Asawana. I didn't hear you. Asawana. 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 Wana. Asama did it. And you're going to even tell you my own. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your Excellency, our dear hard-working, focused Governor of River State and members of your government, let me first of all, let me first of all, on behalf of my family, on behalf of our people, my senatorial district, and all our leaders, those of them who are here, and the several others who are unable to be here, but we are with you in spirit. Let me thank you and your government and the people of River State for extending your kind invitation to me and my delegation to undertake this very important job of joining you to commission this important historic road to our people. I want to thank you also for the warmth and hospitality that your government has extended to me and members of my delegation since we arrived here. Your Excellency, last week, I was part of a high-level delegation of your leaders from around, outside by Elsa, to solidarize with you and to talk about the need for peace as a necessary condition for development. Today, we have seen what you are doing. When we led that delegation, I didn't even know that you were embarking on life-changing 
project like this across the length and breadth of this great. Please say a special round of applause for our government. Not many people, not many people will see this and doubt your commitment and your understanding of the imperatives of development. Your love for our people, your love for rivers people, and your understanding of the challenges facing your people. If anyone was in doubt, looking at this wonderful road, such doubts clearly will be misplaced, isn't it? So, Your Excellency, we are happy that you invited me and all of us to be part of this historic event. And we thank you for the honor. I know a thing or two about this road. I may not know when it was awarded, but what I know is that you have gathered us here today to commission it and formally put it to use. And we thank you for that. I, as a lover of Niger Delta culture and tradition, particularly of the Ijo uh, nation, I know I've taken this road several times. I used to take this road several times to most of the communities in Calabar land. And so I know how this road works. I know how this road works. And today, when we're driving down, I could see the joy in the faces of the citizens of this state, particularly those who are directly impacted by this road positively. And I shared in their joy. Is that not so? I used to take this road as it was. And until you explained to me I didn't know that this was the road that I used to take to Buguma and all the communities here. I was lost. Please, a round of applause for our governor. Twelve carriageway. And you can see the street lights all the way from beginning to end. Not so. And not Kwekwe Road contractor. What backyard contractor? Which contracting firm? Julius Veja. Is that not the Baba? Uh -huh. Those are the people. That's how you know people who are committed to service. Okay? So, Your Excellency, I want to join the traditional rulers and fathers who spoke a short while ago. And all the people gathered here who express joy and admiration and support to you from while we were driving in. I'm also filled with joy myself that you've delivered on this very important road. 15 point something kilometers. It's not easy. And as Your Excellency said, we know a thing or two about constructions in this our terrain. This is Real heart of the Niger Delta we are in. Every few meters, you see one river. Every few kilometers, you will see one uh, creek, or one rivulet, or one channel. And then the entire place is below sea level. So it's only a governor who has love for a people that can commit money to a project, conceive of the project, supervise the project, monitor the project, have the presence of mind to attend to security and community challenges, have the prudence as our governor has. You know he's a financial wizard. <laughs> and reverse people, you are lucky. To have a shattered accountant, a former accountant general. A final, oh, some are even saying calculator. <laughs> and God bless you for having a calculator governor. Yeah, because the other side is not good. The other part of the one that's been without calculation is not a good one. That means, means,
managing the resources. You have listened to him, how he has delivered on this project. And the good news is this. This governor is just gearing to go. All that you have seen from what we have seen so far, the man never take off oh, like plane. He never reach altitude, cruising altitude. Oh. So rivers people are lucky. Our people, you are lucky. Our people, you are lucky. Clap for yourselves, you are lucky. And so let me on this note, let me on this note appreciate, because as you rightly said, government is a continuum. Even the previous administration that conceived of this road and started it, they did well too, so we must thank them. But we must thank you because you could have abandoned this road. You could have said, ah, after all, it's not my government that started it. But because you feel the pains of our people, you know challenges and problems, you took it even more as your own. You never abandon this project. And you encourage the contractors, you manage the process of delivery of this road, and today we have this wonderful road. I know, I'm aware, that in a few days' time from now, our leader and father mentioned to me, you have invited him to also begin a bigger one than this. God bless you. Please clap for our governor. You will hear more when he comes. And so let me, let me thank Mr. Governor and your team for having the presence of mind and the focus. It's not easy. Even with less distractions, some people will just forget about governance. But you have not. You are a man who has presence of mind, who has a disciplined mind, and who has focus. Our prayer is that God should continue to give you more focus in Jesus' name. Amen. And God should enable you and strengthen you to overcome all distractions so that our people, at the end of your service, at the end of your service, which is four plus four, no so? We will talk about that later. We will talk about that later. When that time comes, on Agosio. I want to thank the leaders and fathers of this state for standing by this governor, or standing by his government, standing by the deputy governor, standing by the speaker, and standing by the government of River State. You have a constituted authority. That's a constituted authority. And they deserve the support of all of you. I want to thank all the leaders, traditional rulers, political and opinion leaders, religious leaders, business leaders. I want to thank you all for the support and the encouragement you are giving to our governor and his team. And I thank you all, our good people. The governor has said it. And this man, this governor you have, when I was governor, they used to call me Toknadu. Huh? Countryman, the Toknadu governor. But the way I'm seeing Fubara go, Thank you. The way I'm seeing this governor getting ready, I think he will even be more than a Toknadu governor. You know, people who don't talk much, and they are very big in action. And when you are lucky, you have a prudent governor, an accountant, who has passion for development. It means your resources will not go into frivolities. It will go to solve problems affecting your people. Not so. And in less than, this is about how many months delivering this kind of major project. And there are several such going around. Fubala, you have started well. Don't be distracted. Our prayer is that God should give you the ability to cruise higher than 
the altitude of your distractions. Keep focus. And there's no doubt that you are going to deliver mega life-changing programs and projects for the good people of this state. I want to thank you for inviting me once again. I thank you all who for the next four, eight years will be beneficiaries of a visionary and focused leadership that God has instituted in this state. For us in Bayelsa and outside rivers, you know that our support and solidarity is with you people all the time. And I want to thank you all for being here. I've told the governor that any time my people, the Calabari Kingdom, invites him for the traditional honors, he should extend an invitation to me. I will come with him. Yes, I will come with him and escort him to Seka program <laughs> as a high-ranking member of the Seka team of myself. Is that my money? Yeah. 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 Thank you. God bless you all. Go in peace and continue to stand by this government. Continue to pray for your success and work for peace and stability in Jesus' name. Yeah. It's on this note, Your Excellency, if you don't mind, may I have you Thank you, thank you. Your Excellency, the great governor of River State, Deputy, the Speaker, the Secretary of Government, and members of the government. Your Majesties and Highnesses, my good and wonderful people of River State, on behalf and on the invitation of Your Excellency, our Governor, we are gathered here to officially cut this tape so that this road, this very historic road, beautifully done, beautifully delivered in a timely and professional manner. With your Excellency, the dualization of a more Akalabare Terminal Junction Road executed by the administration of His Excellency Sir Timane Fuba, GSS RS FCA, Governor of this great state, is commissioned today by me, Henry Seraki Dixon, Senator representing Bayasa West. Today, 17th of May, 2024, to the glory of God in Jesus' name.